need to shave. I know. Can I <laughs> it's something I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> to do list. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Um, okay. Hey guys. <laughs> hey everyone. How's it going? Good. Thank you. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I know. Um, this is week four of our IKEA kitchen remodel and this week was all about sanding floors and putting in lower cabinets. Mm -hmm. So we started out the week by going to IKEA on Monday. Um, right. We had to do some um, changes on the kitchen design um, last week. So we basically had to go bring back a couple of cabinets, mm -hmm. I think the 15 inch and a what else did we bring back? Oh my gosh, I forget. <laughs> but anyway, so we brought back two cabinets and took another two cabinets yeah, took two um, to kind of like, you know, get it all aligned again. Um, Ikea was really, really, really good about returning. Returning, that's that right. That was yeah. amazing. Like, they were just like no fuss mm -hmm. and like the cabinets were already we assembled. Were fully so assembled and we're still no problem. That, that was, was amazing. Nice. So yeah. if you ever do an Ikea kitchen, I mean, this is thumbs yeah, up for that. That for part sure. is really nice. Yeah. And then um, Tuesday. Then Tuesday and Wednesday was sanding the floors. Yeah. Um, with the floors all clear in the kitchen and the dining room, we decided it was the best time to just sand everything and get a lot of that dark stain off. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like like a dark red. It was yeah, stain. It was kind horrible. Of like everywhere else, but there was even darker. Yeah. It was even darker. There. So we and underneath it was nice and the kitchen was was oak and the dining area is pine. So mm -hmm. one's a it's little like a dark. Shiplap. Yeah, exactly. So it came out really well. I went straight to the belt sander because I knew from last time that the, the flatter um, this, orbital? Or, orbital sander wasn't strong enough so I went to the belt sander which you have to be really careful with because if you stop or it jolts or something it can easily eat into the ground so it's really you have to be a little careful with that one but it definitely works a lot better. Yeah, and then instead of like doing the edges with our own little hand, hand sanders, sanders. Um, I had Adrian go and get the edge sander, yes. which was amazing because in like two or three hours you've already done. Yeah, we tried sanding it. We, we tried, tried it, was like, it was just like this isn't happen. working. <laughs> so I went to Home Depot and I and I uh, rented the edge sander, which is really good. I highly recommend it for yeah, anyone out there who's going to do sanding the floors. Get the edge sander, and you could hold that thing and. It sands the edge really nice to go yeah. really close to the to, to the corners and everything. So and also also lot. was that um, this time the sander vacuum actually worked really well. <laughs> I think it's, last time like last time working. we had like dust. <laughs> I mean literally up into the ceilings and everywhere. It was yeah. ridiculous. or just on the on the ground. We on the ground, it was like just, everywhere. I thought it was normal because most of the times those vacuums don't work. But the new ones we got oh worked my really gosh. well. Huge yeah. difference. Almost no dust anywhere. Yeah, that it was, was really, like best cleanup ever. I mean, I couldn't even believe yeah. it. Definitely check that if you ever yeah. are renting one. We're not doing a ton of advice today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we learned a lot. <laughs> I guess so. <clears throat> then anyways, Thursday, um, I went we back to Ikea, Ikea, Ikea again. <laughs> 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 I know what you're thinking. Um, so basically, <clears throat> we didn't see like exactly the measurements up until a point where everything was cleared mm -hmm. out. Because our kitchen is like, the corners are like, they're like all over the place. Like the measurements are just yeah. so hard to get at all. Like yeah. it was just pretty much impossible to plan this ahead of time. And I thought I had planned it pretty well, but in the end, well, I didn't. Yeah. So we basically saw that we could get like three more inches. Like I think we exchanged a 15 to another 18, 18 on yeah. one side. And then as I'm like just about oh, to check right. out, I was just in the as is section. And so I get this call from Adrian, and he's like, are you sitting down? I'm like, no, why? <laughs> he had like this doom and gloom voice, and like, I'm like, oh no. Anyways, and then you said that um, basically we could exchange yeah. the little 12-inch cabinet, which was already a new, like from the new plan. Mm -mm, that was plan what we B, had gotten on Monday. That, yeah, exactly. <laughs> already assembled everything. We could actually exchange that 12-inch cabinet to a 15-inch cabinet. So mm -hmm. I had to go back and get the 15-inch totally worth it because now we actually have three drawers instead of just a shelf. Yeah, that's right. Um, super excited for that. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. so that was basically that. It sounds basically. like a small detail, but oh my gosh, our kitchen detail. is already on a smaller end, so any any extra room we can get, the better. So yeah, pretty it much. Was, it, it'll, it's it'll it's really good. good now. We're really happy, I think. Yeah. And then last thing was just the lowers. The lowers, yeah. Yeah, and then after everything was sanded and cleaned up, we I, we installed the uh, the lowers, and then obviously it was very 
difficult because <laughs> like we just said nothing was straight and you know obviously lowers you want them fairly level it doesn't have to be perfect perfect but it needs to be level and the you want the inside of the kitchen to have right angles so which which was as a, right angle as possible as right angles as possible <laughs> and on the outside it can basically vary because they can cut the grant or the cut cut the countertop to fit whatever the outside edge is so we got that done but it was a lot of work trying to get mm -hmm. that stuff because you have to stabilize it and Pop. And our floors are off, like yeah, everything's off. off, like the walls are off, the floors are off. So half the cabinet would be Ugh. about a half an inch high and the other half would be off on a different floor that was lower. It was madness. But you got it done. <laughs> yeah, so it's far. It's pretty, pretty stable. <laughs> so, <there's open> holes. <laughs> no, I think like so far, we're super happy with the changes that we did. Mm -hmm. I'm really, really glad that we actually let ourselves explore the changes yeah like the idea of i mean who does that right mm -hmm. like you're in the middle of chaos and then you go and like let's change and more chaos <laughs> <laughs> yeah but no we're super happy and i think we're like using the space pretty much as mm -hmm. good as we can when you do something like this it's very important that we learned you have to stay flexible you cannot have a plan and not uh, you're going to veer for, from it and you just have to be flexible and be ready for it and just to accept it because most of the times it'll make it better and you just don't stress about it, just realize it's part of the process. And if you have any kind of normal type of house where everything's sort of straight, you probably don't have a problem with that. It's probably a lot easier. Which will be so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I guess next week mm -hmm. we are having the kitchen countertop measuring mm -hmm. coming in. So that will be, I think, Monday. Yeah, they're going to come in with a laser and do all their measuring stuff to be able to plan out the countertop so they can cut it correctly before the install. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to watch That'll this interesting. Stuff. It feels like a big milestone because everything has been kind of leading up to that. Mm -hmm. We had to like right. push the measuring out twice, I mm -hmm. think, yeah. just a couple of days. But still, it just feels like, okay, we're pushing everything yeah. out. <laughs> Let's just get it done. <laughs> So that will be nice. And then I guess um, we also want to start on the appliance wall, right? Mm -hmm. The one wall is kind of out of the way where the, where fridge, the, uh, the and fridge and the microwave and oven. The built-in like oven, yeah, and the pantry, pantry. area. So excited for so pantry. <laughs> that'll be something we'll do next. Hopefully we'll be able to get that all accomplished next week yeah. as well. Yeah, and I yeah. guess that's it for that's what it was it, week four. Week four, <laughs> the house of medic renovation. Oh my gosh, <laughs> chaos. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a good, it's a good it's, thing. We're enjoying it. Sort of. <laughs> There's ups and downs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Yep. See you later. Have a good week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.